today Lorelai has her second shot for the for the COVID vaccine. I'm pretty nervous. Still nervous? Super. Everything seemed to be all right. But then that night, overnight, uh, things started to change and started to change for the, for the Aggies. <laughs> Breakfast Filipino style. Hey guys, so today Lorelai has her second shot for the for the COVID vaccine. How do you feel? I'm quite nervous, to be ne honest. Nervous? Yeah, of course. It's Why? my second shot. Yeah, they say they say that for second shots you may have more side effects. But you didn't have many side effects on this first shot, right? No, it's just a sore uh, in the area where on the, the arm. injection, yeah. Just just overnight, actually. Did you feel any fatigue or anything? No, I don't. I'm okay. I'm perfectly fine. That's why I'm scared right now. It's not that everyone has more side effects. In fact, for me, my second shot, I had less side effect than the first one. Uh, the first one, I had like the sore arm, a little bit of tiredness, and I was shivering. On the second one, I just had the uh, sore arm for like you know a couple of hours and and nothing more. So yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Hopefully, cross finger. So also one thing that makes me worried is that I am a high. I have a high cholesterol, but I survive in the first shot. I yeah, hope. Luckily, yeah. <laughs> I hope I will gonna survive in the second shot again. Yeah. I hope so. And apart from the high cholesterol, is being obese. So. Well, you're not obese. You're a little bit overweight. Yeah, well, the like, doctor like everyone obese. is. Like I'm overweight as well. So, <laughs> to go to the vaccination center from the place we live, first we need to jump on a small boat called Kaito to Discovery Bay. That's not our boat, but I definitely wouldn't mind jumping on that one. Next is the bus and I hope we haven't missed it because I forgot the schedule and it's really really hot today. We may have a problem because it seems like the terminal is closed or at least under renovation so I'm not actually sure where we get the bus. This is where we should have taken the bus but as you can see it's not happening but luckily the bus seemed to be there. Yes this is our bus DB01R. We made it. All right, we are in Tumchung. Now, last thing we have to do is going through a mall. I think there's actually another way not to go through a mall, but yeah. first, I don't know the way. Second, it's much better in the mall because you just go inside, you're, you're, you have the aircon in, it's much faster. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. And one more downstairs. Since we are early, we have a little bit of time. We decided to stop for a coffee. I'm not a big fan of Starbucks being Italian, but that's what we get. You should also know that being Italian means that I run on coffee, not on blood. So I need like three, four coffees a day at least. Half an hour to your vaccine. How do you feel? I'm pretty nervous. Still nervous? Super. Right <laughs> now, I'll be fine for sure. But you know, you can still avoid not to feel nervous, but it's okay, it's normal. Yeah. I'm... I can do it. This one. <laughs> so now you, you go there, you give the, the ID. ID. They're going to check your... They're going to check your uh, booking appointment. Mm. That's it. They will going to check your temperature. Then they will have to fill the form. Not actually, you feel you have to sign it. And then, then you get the job, get for, the job for, from the nurse, right? No, it's a doctor. The doctor? Uh, in my case, it was a nurse. It uh, was a doctor. Yeah, yeah, better. After that, you have to wait in the the observation area again, and then voila, voila, done. voila. <laughs> uh, 
I'll see you later. All right. Good luck. Come on it. Good luck. All right, she's gone inside and now I just have to wait. Hopefully it will not be too long. <sighs> just started drizzling. We have not been very lucky with the weather lately. Luckily they have here this shade, which I'm, I'm not sure what's what is it for because there's no bus stop or anything here but luckily they have it so i can repair myself uh, while while waiting as you've seen lai was a little bit nervous because of her conditions her cholesterol and their overall status which anyways is pretty fine so i'm, I'm sure she will be okay um, as soon as we can get over with this uh, no, she will feel even better and i'm i think she will not have side effects at least she didn't have for the first dose Hopefully she will not have for the second dose as well. And guys, if you have access to the vaccine, if you can be vaccinated, please get vaccinated, get your shot or shots, and don't, don't be silly. Don't think, you know, strange things, uh, conspiracy theories or anything like that. We really need this to get back to normal. So please do your job, do your part for the greater good of everyone. And let's try to get back to normal as soon as possible. just texted me that she's done with the job but uh, they will keep her 30 minutes in observation rather than 15 as usual uh, because of her uh, you know blood pressure and cholesterol but everything should be all right let's see when she comes out and here she is is almost not drizzling anymore how are you how are you feeling uh, I'm so far, I'm good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's go to something, to, to somewhere uh, with a shade, so we can talk. Okay. So, how do you feel? I'm good. Any um, any effect just after the the shot? No, 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 not like before on the first um, the first injection. Time. The moment I was out in the the cubicle where the, where I got the injection, I started to feel like I my face is on fire in front of the fire. It's so hot. It's just a few seconds. Okay. And then after that, I'm okay. I'm fine. But did, did you have this time no, again? No, no, I didn't have it. What's funny is that I had this one, the speaker, also before on the first shot. And I didn't know that this indicates that you have to stay in the observation area. And you have to sit there for 30 minutes. Because usually it's 15, right? Yeah, in the 15 minutes. The first injection they didn't check i didn't know as well so they just put me in the 15 minutes so i was wondering like oh, okay maybe that's they knew it so not even 15 minutes and they asked me to go out already because i feel fine yeah but now i asked again they uh, they they asked me to sit down but then i they sh i showed my sticker because i'm the only one who have this <laughs> right and and then they said, oh, no, no, you cannot sit there. You have to sit on the 30 minutes uh, uh, observation area, uh, area. So I went there alone, still okay. It's just like maybe around 20 minutes, yeah. I started to feel the like some needles stuck inside. Kind of. Really? Yeah. But now it's gone or but still it's heavy? It's gone, it's gone. Okay. But I feel starting like, you know, I, I feel already the the heavy oh you feel already the soreness heavy, on the arm yeah a little okay. bit just a little bit basically um everything is okay i'm fully vaccinated so i'm yay happy well done Just... a little bit more than one hour in how do you feel i feel great everything okay it's, it's all good no okay. pain well a little bit if you touch it, uh, I feel I feel it. But no headache. You said you feel a little bit tired. Yeah, I start to feel like I feel tired. Like I keep on yawning. Yawning. I don't know if it's part of the uh, vaccine or it's because I didn't have enough sleep last night. As well, <laughs> I'm hungry as well. Maybe that's yeah. the yeah, the, that the, could the, be. Main, the main the main the uh, main effect of the vaccine. Yeah, the the hunger. 
they actually said that you may lose appetite, but ah, that, oh, okay. that didn't work for mm -hmm. us at all. All right, let's check in later then. It's now four days after Lai's vaccination. And that day, as you've seen, everything seemed to be all right. No more symptoms, a uh, little bit of you know, soreness in the arm. Uh, and up until the night when we went home, uh, everything seemed to be all right. But then that night, overnight, uh, things started to change and started to change for the, for the Abby. So what, what happened? My arm is really sore when it, before going to bed and like really heavy and I could hardly move it. And then I started feeling a headache, like mm -hmm. banging or someone is hitting my head. That's b before, before going to bed, right? Yeah, that's before. Yeah, I remember when we were brushing our teeth and you, you said that it was already quite hard for you to, yeah. to, move, the, to move the arm. Yeah, the headache is a, it, 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 strong. I, it's strong. And then also I started feeling the the tiredness. I mean, I feel so tired that I don't want to really move and I just mm -hmm. want to throw myself in the bed and that's it. And then in the night? Yeah, during the night I woke up super wet, like I mean sweaty. Sure. We, we also have the aircon open. So, and I was, uh, I checked on Davide and she, he is uh, covered with the, the blanket. So I have to get get up from the bed and chain and and, and um, yeah, you know, wipe, wipe myself because I'm so sweaty. And then I couldn't sleep properly because my arm is so painful. I can't find the proper position. I think I, I think sleep. you may have had some you know temperature yeah, overnight. Yeah, maybe I didn't because check. Because the morning after, actually, you started you know you were feeling. Um, even worse so you, you check your temperature and I yeah I have a slight fever in the morning already and I think it was like 37.2 Celsius right so 37.3 no 37.8 point eight oh, okay yeah 37 when is this light fever though but I really feel bad really feel bad and I have this, uh, I don't want to be touched, like even my hair, I don't know, I have a very, very sensitive skin. Yeah, I man, for me, the, th the thing I've noticed is that you were like, as we say in Italy, you were like, like a cloth. Um, you were just lying there quite pale and no energy at all. Um, all, all these things, you're very, very tired, right? Yeah, I am, I am. The appetite is kind of like I didn't yeah you you that. didn't you didn't want to eat much yeah you just eat, eat. you have eaten some some salt in yeah. Um, yeah yeah I was I pushing you to eat because you need to eat to to get better but she she you know sometimes she's quite a hard hard headed I'm so thirsty sometimes <clears throat> I'm so thirsty yeah and, and then that, yeah and that lasted for like three days right today is the first day you feel you feel better I, I still yes I feel better now uh, it's not 100% yet but because I still have you know if I press it it's still I can still feel the the pain the, the inside, soreness yeah, yeah. The soreness inside and I still have this aso in here under oh yeah that, that's not that's another thing you mentioned that you were feeling pain in your lymph node area right yeah yeah lymph node yeah, yeah. Uh, or yeah, in your arm, the, underarm. Yeah. Arm. It is indeed. I that's the reason. One reason why I can't really sleep because you know, if I move, I I really have to to help my yeah your, help your arm yeah the other one, the other arm. So so knowing knowing all of this, knowing what you've been through, would you still get vaccinated? Would you still recommend people to get vaccinated? Oh, for sure, I I will. The vaccine will help you to actually yeah, uh, less, you know, yeah. like lessen the, the the risk of having a more more yeah complications complications yeah, yeah indeed I will, I will all right guys I think we close here um, again as I said before if you have access to the vaccine you know get vaccinated yeah. you may have some small side effect. Of course, don't don't get vaccinated if you have super high allergies or you know talk to your doctor. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a doctor. We are not doctors, so don't take this as a medical advice. And also, but. actually, that's what I did. I consult my uh, doctor first before yeah. getting the vaccine because 
as I as we keep on saying, I have uh, the high cholesterol, and I I have a history of uh, uh, thyroid problems. So mm -hmm. I was so concerned, and so I get checked first before I went for. Yeah. And the doctor say you were you were fine and you, you could you could have it too. They this is also the reason why if you remember she stayed thirty minutes in observation after the the shot rather than only fifteen. Yeah. But yeah. you know I'm glad everything is fine. Yeah, you you've been under the weather for for a couple of days, but now now you're good. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next one. Remember subscribing down below, like this video if you get any value out of it or if you just enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll see you at the next one. Bye. See you guys.